What's up guys? Welcome to Rogue Reviews. This is my review of War for the Planet of the Apes. So War for the Planet of the Apes is directed by Matt Reeves and stars Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, Steve Zahn, Judy Greer, Toby Kebbell, and newcomer Amaya Miller. So I was pretty nervous going into War for the Planet of the Apes, not because I didn't think it would be good, but because I love the other two so much. Rise of the Planet of the Apes was really a nice surprise. And Dawn, I think if I was grading it today, I think I would give it a 10 out of 10. That movie is just a masterpiece. So I was really just nervous that this one could stick the landing. If it could at least be as good so that the trilogy of these apes movies would be fantastic, you know. Director Matt Reeves was returning, so that gave me a lot of hope. It stuck the landing. I, I can confidently say that this ending to this trilogy is the movie that I wanted to see and really carries that emotional weight that the other movies have to them and really makes this trilogy end with a punch and a bang. All right, let's start with the positives. Matt Reeves' direction is flawless in this movie. Just the way he takes this kind of bigger story and makes it small is really what makes this franchise special to begin with. This franchise isn't built on these big, huge explosions. It's built on these smaller character moments, which is really uncharacteristic of a lot of movies that come out and really what makes this franchise special. Andy Serkis as Caesar and with all the other apes, with what he's able to do with the Weta Workshop to make these apes come alive, I, I can't tell anymore. I can't tell that they're CGI. They are so real. It is ridiculous. And Andy Serkis' performance as Caesar is really almost Oscar nomination worthy. If he doesn't get an Oscar nomination for this, I'm gonna be disappointed. I know there's a whole gray area there with, you know, the digital makeup and like how much is the actor, how much is, you know, the computer guys, but you can see Andy's Circus's performance through Caesar and all the emotion he's bringing to this role and just the depth he gives this character. It's something truly special that not a lot of other movies have. Woody Harrelson as the villain is absolutely terrifying. I did not think he'd be this terrifying. He was really grounded in reality. He wasn't just a villain for being a villain's sake. He had a plan, he had a purpose, and the lengths he was willing to go to fulfill his destiny was really just truly horrifying. His performance in that is fantastic. You know, that a lot of these comedians, when they take on these dramatic roles and these villain roles, really fantastic because they're able to bring like so much darkness you didn't know that they would have and it really surprises you. The other thing I really like about this trilogy is how they explain things. Like when this movie you think is going for more of a trope that would be kind of like unexplained, kind of like a, oh really, why are they doing that? They explained it so well that you don't care anymore. And also I love how they explain things that lead us into the 1968 version of Planet of the Apes, of like how our planet gets from a planet run by human beings to where Charlton Heston shows up and where it is now with apes running everything and how they carefully step by step like make things make sense where a lot of prequel movies this gets thrown out this gets thrown out maybe this isn't explained as well this movie really takes it step by step and it's like here's how this happens here how this happens and in this movie, they really explain how the simian flu that everybody gets that kills off the humans, how it mutates and how it changes into something different that brings us a step closer to the 1968 original that I thought was really unique and really cool choice that they made. So my one negative of this movie, I have one kind of one that really irritates me, but I can't really go into it without spoiling the movie, which is kind of hard. I'll just say they kind of Phantom Menace something in the movie and I was like oh, why did you do that I felt like the way they set up the scene it could have been explained a little better and it could have been something could have been done a better choice but that's really a nitpick overall this movie is just fantastic not a lot of flaws for this movie so overall guys War for the Planet of the Apes fantastic movie fantastic direction fantastic performances a real emotional story that is a real fitting end to this trilogy that I think will make this trilogy one of the best when it's all said and done. So I'm going to give War for the Planet of the Apes a 9.5 out of 10. All right, guys, what did you guys think of War for the Planet of the Apes? Where does this trilogy land for you as far as, like, top trilogies? I know for me, it's probably, like, Star Wars, Toy Story, Lord of the Rings. I 
think Rise and like Planet of the Apes, this trilogy, it might be number four for me now. Time will really tell like how far it goes up or down. But I think this is a really strong trilogy that can be thrown in with all of those others. So make sure to comment below on where you guys would place this trilogy as far as everything else. As always, make sure to subscribe to Rogue Reviews for more awesome content. See you guys next time.